Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will guide you through the process of how to fix Omniport 5 would not connect to Dexcom transmitter. So if you are trying to connect your Omniport 5 with Dexcom transmitter and you are unable to connect it, so worry not, you are not alone. Many users have encountered this frustrating issue. So to fix that issue, you can follow these some simple on-screen instructions. Solution 1 is Force Reboot Omniport 5. Press and release the power button and unlock the controller by swiping left to right or swiping up from the bottom. And enter your 4 digit pin and then tap OK. And ensure you press the power button for less than 1 second to avoid accidental shutdown. If prompted to power off, tap outside the message to cancel and prevent missing notifications. Solution 2 Power Cycle Omniport 5 Press and release the power button on the Omniport 5 controller and press the power button for less than 1 second to avoid accidental shutdown. If prompted with a power off message, tap outside to cancel and prevent unintended shutdown. Solution 3. Check transmitted ID. Access settings from the home screen of your Omniport 5, tap on the menu icon. And here select setting and then go to the manage sensor to access the section where you can check the transmitter id ensure that the transmitter id displayed in the omniport 5 app matches the id of your dexcom g6 transmitter to confirm the correct pairing solution 4 re-enter transmitter serial number tap on the menu button in your omniport 5 app and select the option for Manage Sensor. Within the Manage Sensor tab menu, tap on Delete and remove the current transmitter serial number from the app and power off and then back on your Omniport 5 app. And navigate back to the Manage Sensor section and enter the transmitter serial number using the keypad and then tap Done. After finally tap Save to confirm the entry. After re-entering the transmitter serial number, tap Confirm. Solution 5. Contact Omniport Support So if you have tried all the above steps and still you are not able to fix your issue, so it's time to reach out the customer support for further assistance. You can simply provide them the steps you have already taken and after that wait for some time and they will provide you the simple steps that can help you to resolve your issue. So, I hope this video was helpful to you. So, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Goodbye.